Hey guys, and welcome back to Monka, where stupid shit ensues and the day is no different, because honestly, I'm just going to kind of be rambling about shit. I don't even know if anyone would really care, but I don't know. I'm just going to kind of ramble because, you know, that's kind of what this channel is, to be honest. But recently, I've gotten into Counter-Strike 2 quite heavily. I think the release of Counter-Strike 2 came out in October of 2023, and they had a beta and everything for it. Recently, though, I got into it in December, meaning that I pretty much gotten back into Counter-Strike for like the I don't know what time, to be honest. I've pretty much been playing Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike for 12 years since February of 2012 when I first played Counter-Strike Source on my really shitty laptop. And while my laptop was really shitty and was just a piece of crap, it was such a fun experience and it made me fall in love with PC gaming, honestly. Counter-Strike Source was kind of like my gateway drug into PC gaming with how much I actually like the base game of Counter-Strike Source as well as all of the community shit that happened with Counter-Strike Source. And so more recently, I've gotten back into Counter-Strike with Counter-Strike 2, although prior to that, I played so much of Counter-Strike Go that really it isn't even funny but it's kind of all to the side of things because to be honest I just kind of want to discuss how much I miss Counter-Strike Go honestly. I played a shit ton of Counter-Strike Go. In general I played a shit ton of the entire Counter-Strike series whether that's 1.6 or Source or Go and I've put about 20 hours into Counter-Strike 2 at this point though prior to that I put like 600 hours into Counter-Strike Go to be honest but I've been with the series for 12 years and you know I played a shit ton of Go but honestly more recently I've just been missing the hell out of Go because Counter-Strike 2 has completely replaced CSGO so honestly there is a way to play CSGO via like a legacy version but no one fucking plays it so it's pretty much dead to be honest and it kind of sucks that Counter-Strike Go isn't a separate thing from Counter-Strike 2 they just kind of made Counter-Strike Go Counter-Strike 2 because honestly it's made playing Counter-Strike 2 really really rough because for all the good things that Counter-Strike Go had going for it some of that shit has been thrown out the window for Counter-Strike 2 and pretty much we're starting from zero on Counter-Strike Counter-Strike 2. Now don't get me wrong, I'm having like an amazing time with Counter-Strike 2. I've always loved Counter-Strike, and so I'm enjoying the hell out of Counter-Strike 2 and getting back into this series, and I'm just having a fun time with it, but a lot of things I miss from Go, honestly, are shit like the maps. Like, there's a lot of maps from Counter-Strike Go that I really like that are just kind of missing from Counter-Strike 2 because they haven't been put in yet. Sure, you have your base maps that everyone knows, you know, you got Dust 2 and Office and Nuke and Italy and all those maps, but it's also missing a lot of really fun maps that Counter-Strike Go had, but as well it kind of sucks since Counter-Strike 2 is in the Source 2 engine. The community side Counter-Strike 2 has been really weak. As where Counter-Strike Go had like a shit ton of community stuff. I understand it was at that point like 10 years old, but it had like a shit ton of community stuff. Counter-Strike 2 really just doesn't have that community presence yet. Now they do have the really, really popular game modes already in the game. So bunny hopping and surfing and zombie escape are already in the game, but shit like Prop Hunt and Trouble in Terrorist Town, Jailbreak, Death Run are all pretty much missing from the game at this point. Point. And I know for a fact some shit's just really not going to come back. So probably trade servers aren't going to come back for Counter-Strike 2. And like those less popular modes probably won't come back like knife only servers and shit like that. But who knows if shit like Death Run's going to come back or Trouble in Terrorist Town because pretty much as far as I understand I'm not like a modding expert or anything but pretty much all that shit has to be built up from the ground up for Source 2 since it was all in the original Source engine. But it kind of sucks because to be honest in my opinion the community side of Counter-Strike is kind of what makes Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike. When I got into Counter-Strike Source, I really enjoyed the base game, but honestly, the community side of it is what made me really fall in love with Counter-Strike Source and PC gaming in general. I just really loved surfing and bunny hopping and death run and shit like that and zombie escape and Counter-Strike Source, and so that's what really made me fall in love with that series. And when I hopped into Counter-Strike Go, whenever I did, I forget honestly when I did. It was before the arms deal update, I know that for a fact, sometime maybe that year. But I also fell in love with Go because of all the community server shit that it had. So zombie escape, bunny hopping, surf, all that. Now I understand that it'll take some time to be made in Counter-Strike 2. And it's just really a matter of time before the community server shit is built up in Counter-Strike 2. But honestly, I've just been really missing that shit. And I've also just been missing the amount of maps that the base game usually had. It's really missing some maps that I really loved from Go. And as well, they kind of really bastardized Deathmatch, to be honest. Instead of being like a team Deathmatch thing, now it's a free-for-all thing, which is kind of just a ridiculous mess and honestly in deathmatch now you can't really practice sniping anymore because it's such a clusterfuck to where in team deathmatch you could kind of practice sniping because you had teammates and so you weren't having to worry about getting shot in the back all the time in deathmatch you're just getting shot in the back all the time and it's just kind of really annoying now like i said i know this is kind of all in due time all the problems with counter-strike 2 will be fixed eventually it just kind of sucks that they're there because you know counter-strike go was built up over 10 years and pretty much had those 10 years to get as good as it did 
did, to be honest. And so pretty much Counter-Strike 2 doesn't take everything from Counter-Strike Go and just translate it over to a new engine. It kind of feels like it's just starting from zero again, which really sucks. And to be honest, I feel like even with their launch of Counter-Strike 2, there just hasn't been a lot of new content. It'd be cool to see some, you know, new maps or new skins or some new weapons added to the game. But like I said, it's probably going to be all in due time. But honestly, this is all just to say that I'm kind of just missing Counter-Strike Go, to be honest, just because of all the things that are currently missing from Counter-Strike 2. But like I said, I'm having a shit ton of fun with Counter-Strike 2. And my complaints aren't nearly as high as other people's complaints. A lot of people are bitching about Counter-Strike 2, like, to no end. And to be honest, I'm just having fun enjoying the game. I just kind of miss the wealth of content that CSGO had that currently Counter-Strike 2 is lacking. But thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you. Stay chill.